Pixie Spiky Sky Rumptious Delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading. Today we are doing you versus them, you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble day, marriage. Let's see, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please show me angels of love. What is, aw, but your person is brokenhearted. You know, we're always assuming, <laughs> didn't even finish, please show me angels of love. What is, what is happening for Aquarius, Sun, and person? We assume some kind of a trauma here, you know, rift, separation, trauma, through a sword, your person is broken hearted over the situation. Their heart is breaking, it's bleeding, my bleeding heart, Aquarius, it broke my heart. They broke their own heart. You took your power back here too. You got the emperor, this is how they are perceiving you right now. You took your power back. You remember who you are and you're not taking any more trash. <laughs> you took out the trash, baby, and you took them out with it Boo -boo. I'm loving this energy. I am loving this energy. Somebody had to learn a very harsh lesson about appreciation here, and that is your little douche flute. They were a douche flute. Now they're feeling sorry for themselves. Now it's raining. The birds have stopped singing. You know, the clouds are out. The darkness, oh, but they deserve it because they made you take your power back, and Aquarius never does that unless it's a serious, serious matter. All right, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. Also Aquarius, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you, I love you, I see you baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. You know your mommy's favorites, baby, because we're both fixed signs, I'm a Scorpio, and it just is what it is. All right, yeah, this person was, they hurt your poor little heart, baby. You took your power back because somebody was keeping you Keeping you in limbo, the two of wands. If it was a bimbo, himbo, limbo, bimbo, bimbo, himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, it's somebody who, you know, came in, but they were like very wishy-washy, very lukewarm energy, us fig signs, we don't like that stuff, you know? Very like, you didn't know who you were dealing with. And, you know, they wanted to keep their options open. They wanted to, you know, their intention was to remain single, but have some kind of a situationship in the background, have some form of commitment. But you were like, yeah, I'm not a fan of this energy. Um, the empress between you, look, baby, you know, somebody saw so much potential in you. That's why they couldn't quite, you know, it's like they weren't maybe honest with you 100% about their intentions because they saw how amazing you are, my baby. And they're like, I need the Aquarius, but at the same time, I don't really want the commitment. So I'm just going to be a little bit in and out, a little bit up and down, a little bit, ooh, a little bit, wah, like, you know, you don't know what's going on. <clears throat> douche flute. It's douche flute. So somebody who um, maybe has traveled a lot around the world or someone who is very worldly and they like to be independent, they like to have that lifestyle, they like to be a lone wolf, then they met you and they got tempted. They got so tempted. It was like they would like smell your hair or something, you know, like, like your perfume, your cologne. They're like, like taking you in, but Bill. The Knight of Pentacles hair on your side, you know, this is too slow moving. It was too slow moving. It seemed like a lot of labor. It just wasn't working out for you. Uh, this person would make you wait a long time to answer your messages, leaving you on red, leaving you on scene. It just did not work out. And this person ended up uh, having to move on or moving on in some way and kind of left you with an unanswered message or something like that, baby. I'm so sorry. And they broke your heart and you took your power back. You could have also given somebody an ultimatum if it was um, more of an established dating situation. What are we? What is this? You know, what are your intentions? You're giving me all this, you know, all this fluff, but what's, you know, what's the actual heart of the matter here? Uh, also, if it was an established connection, you know, this is somebody who was stalling you. You know, they didn't want to put a label on it 100% or they put a label on it, but they were stalling marriage, children, uh, stability, you know, this energy here of the Empress, they were stalling you and they were not uh, exalting you like the goddess God, anyone between that you are my scrumptiousness. They weren't doing you justice. Um, and they should have done, and they know it. Because you're like, it was almost like, this person is actually addicted to you, but on the other hand, they weren't doing you justice. <laughs> you know, it's always, <coughs> this is the douche flute way, you know, someone who's like, you know, like, you, you like, you make them crazy in some kind of a way, you know? They, they lost their mind for you, but at the same time, they didn't do the right thing. So someone who's stalling Mary, like, yeah, we'll get married next year, next year, next year. We'll put a label on and we'll move in next year. And it just never happened. And it, they just let, left you, you know, with your little pentacle in your hand, with the stick, stick in your hand, you know what I'm saying? With a little, uh, little onk in your hand. You are like, no, I'm taking my power back. You gave this person an ultimatum. Um, if you're already committed, you know, they just weren't in it. 
they weren't, you didn't feel like they were in it. You, you, they had your, their back turned to the marriage in some kind of way. They still wanted to be a lone wolf and they didn't want to give to you. And you're like, no, no more. I am the emperor empress, you know, and this is divine counterpart energy, the empress and the emperor. But you know, one is in the present moment and one is in the past. So it's almost like two ships passing each other by. This person couldn't give you that commitment before. You took your power back and they know it. And now they want to give you that, you know, emperor empress treatment douche flute six of swords <laughs> sorry i'm getting triggered by this person it's like the, the oldest story in the book you don't have what you what, you don't appreciate what you have people need to learn how to appreciate the love they have right now the six of swords they intend to just deny the pain move on and pretend like nothing happened but it's really difficult because their heart is like on their sleeve right now it's very raw they're feeling the pain so deeply something could have mm, occurred it could be a fresh wound from tourist season or it could be something that happened in the last three hours three days three weeks or three months ago or in the third month also aries could be important here ace um, of wands what they're actually going to do they are going to reach out and they're going to try and reignite this connection some way um this is uh not their intention they just want to like bottle it down and not deal with it but they're going to reach out expect a message to reach you in about one day one week one hour or one month depending on what your timeline is you got the chariot at the bottom of the deck so, so cancer season also could be important in terms of a communication coming from this person what you want to do with this energy aquarius as always it's your choice but bill you know how it goes let's get some advice from my baby aquarius Three of Cups, it's that commitment. You know, how are they committing to you? How are they going to show it to you? Put the ring on it. You know, put the little, you know, love a coin in the karma uh, of love machine. You know, like in the little slot machine of love. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this metaphor. I came up with this myself. All right, whatever. Um, you know, like, put your money where your mouth is. I was going to say a different B word, but we know what I'm saying. Put your money where your mouth is. How are you going to exalt me? How are you going to commit to me? How are you going to big me up? How are you going to publish me in your life, baby? What are you gonna do? What are you actually gonna do? Actions speak louder than words always, but they're coming in and they miss you as well in the biblical sense, baby. They miss your body. They're like, I, I feel they're smelling. You're like, they're gonna like touch your hair or something. I don't know, there's something here about that. Uh, baby. This is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and like the video, because that really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm.